We're told a student at Fairmont Heights High School in Prince George's County brought parts of a ghost gun to school. Delia Gonsalves is live at the school with the latest on the investigation. And Dee, what have you learned? First, y'all were uh, pleased to report that no one was hurt here at the high school. Police swooped in right away to handle the situation, they say. At this hour, Prince George's County Police are investigating and questioning that young person to find out why that student brought the ghost gun to school in the first place. It is also unclear at this hour if parts of that ghost gun would have made a complete weapon if assembled. But tonight, the police chief crediting the actions of what he calls a brave student who did the right thing, saw this weapon and alerted school resource officers. Prince George's County Police say the disassembled ghost gun triggered a lockdown around noon here at Fairmont Heights High School. Students still anxious after the school shooting in Uvalde immediately called parents who feared the worst. And she said, Mom, they locked us down in the school. And I was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And they was like, she said, I don't know. And then she texted me and said, it was an active shooter. I said, active shooter? She gave me the heads up to come get her. I flew, I flew up here to come get her. So I've been on pins and needles. It's scary. It's too much stuff going on. You know, something just happened in Texas, happening everywhere. And just ready to take my baby home. It's always police officers and security guards in the school, but it's like, I mean, they do their job and they do it well. Kids are sneaky. They'll get past you with anything. Glad she's safe. I'm glad everybody was safe because it, it don't make no sense these days, man. I mean, it's like it's just, kids, is the first thing they think about is violence. I feel like nowadays it's just not even safe to let your kids go to school. Like, I don't know. I just don't think that was a good decision to bring a gun to school. And talk about a gut punch when you hear a young person say that it's not safe to send your own students to school. Um, but school leaders tell us this is a safe place and they want to assure students tonight that they are safe coming to school. They will have stepped up security tomorrow and into next week. Now, police also say the takeaway here, this student did the right thing. Thing. The student was brave enough to come forward after seeing something wrong, and he says it will take that type of continued courage to keep our schools and our communities safe. Leslie, Sharla, back yeah. to you. Dee, it's going to take everybody, and this situation is illustrative of that for sure.